Hi, and welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. Uh, as promised, I'm going to make a Halloween wreath, and I mistakenly said Sunday that this uh, Dollar Tree wreath form that I had was a 16-inch, but that was my mistake. It is actually an 18-inch frame. You can see that right there. Let's see. So what I decided to do was treat it just like I would any other uh, wire frame. I've marked my pipe cleaners about every four and a quarter inches. So I've just worked my way all the way around the bottom. And just where one stops, that's where I'll put the next. And then what I did for the top was I put one right in the middle of every one that I had on the bottom. So I end up with 22 pipe cleaners. Now it sounds like a lot, but that's really only four more than what you do on a 14 or a 15 inch frame. So again, I've got them about every four and a quarter inches apart on the bottom. I have 11 on the bottom and then I have 11 on the top. So I had a very wonderful visionary who was kind enough to share a roll of 21 inch Dollar Tree mesh. She found this when she was actually in Louisiana. It says it's 10 yards long. So I'm gonna go ahead and do hoops with this and let's just see how this mesh looks. I've never had the privilege of finding one of these before. Uh, so I was really excited to give it a try. So again, this one is uh, definitely Dollar Tree. Uh, it says uh, simple style, decorative mesh, and here it, here's the tag. So it was just one dollar. Uh, let's see how it looks. So it's kind of thin, but really not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and try to make poofs with it. So I'm going to do it just like I do any other frame. I'm just going to go ahead and scrunch up my mesh. And I'm going to lay it right before a tie and zip tie it in. So I'm just, since you do have three bars on this instead of four, uh, I may have not explained how I, I laid these out. So let me go back over that again. Let me get this fastened in. There's only three rings. So if I only have three rings on a wreath, I share the middle bar. So I tied the bottom ties around bars, the middle and the outside, and I did the inside around the middle and the inside bars. That way you still have them wrapped around two bars to give them a little bit more security. And I did dab a little bit of hot glue on all of them so they would try to stay in place. So let's just go ahead and do our poofs. And I'm gonna make 10 inch poofs. And I think I'm just gonna throw this on the floor help kind of keep it out of the way and I'm just going to do like I do I'm just going to skip one pipe cleaner and fall back and make my poof so I'm going to do this all the way around the frame uh, it's very thin but I do plan on adding a lot more to it so again I'm just going to jump and fall back let me go ahead and open all of the ties on the bottom just to make this go a little bit faster. So I'm going to push these out of the way. And open up these. Now if I do do a, a, a frame with just the three rings, I try to cut the tie where it's more towards the bottom and this tie is more towards the top. All right, so let's just continue. I jump and then fall back. That looked a little bit big. Okay, and then just, just like any other uh, 21 inch mesh, keep those sides pushed under. So you'll get your poof. And then I just jump to the tie ahead of where I'm going and then fall back.
Okay, so I'm coming up on the very last one. This is where I tied off to come up top. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my final poof. And I like to untie that twist and then add this twist to it. And then I'm going to, again, I'm just going to treat it like I do any other deco mesh. I'm not going to try to make poofs in the center on this one. I'm just going to go ahead and cut my mesh. And let's see, that uses up just about the whole entire row. I've got a little bit left, um, not a lot. So that is very thin. Um, it's the same consistency of regular Dollar Tree mesh. So just know that you're definitely going to have to add a lot more to go with it, which is exactly what I plan to do. So I'm going to flip it over and just tuck this little piece up under and then tie it off with a zip tie. I'm going to tie it tight. So I'm using a really thin um, zip tie just so I can get a tighter grip. Uh, these are the 18 pound zip ties. They're pretty much my favorites to use. Alrighty, so what I've done is I went ahead and wood burned a few pieces of mesh and I actually wood burned uh, 22 pieces. And the colors that I'm gonna be adding, this is a uh, lime green and I will leave you guys the uh, item numbers uh, in the uh, description box. And then I have a really pretty uh, tinsel mesh this is 10 and a half by 10 yards in black, orange, purple, and lime. Uh, both of these came from Craft Outlet. Now, I wasn't sure how long I wanted to cut my um, ribbons yet. So let's put a couple of pieces in. And then I've got an array of ribbon over here. So let's go ahead and I thought I would make ruffles and I did go ahead and wood burn these pieces. Uh, I've made them 18 inches long, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a ruffle of each. And then I want to see about how long I think my ribbons will need to be because we're going to have to really perk up this little wreath with this uh, Dollar Tree mesh. So I'm going to make some ruffles and I'm going to spread out my ruffle. All right, so there's my green, and then here's a piece of the tinsel mesh. This is really pretty, really sparkly. All right, so I'm going to go right next to that one. And put this piece in, and I'm thinking 13 inches is what I'm going to go with. So let's see how 13 inches looks. So here's how my first two pieces going in look. Again, this is really thin, so you're gonna have to add a, a good amount to each one. So I've got several ribbons. Most of these are from Craft Outlet that I had left over from last year. So let's see, and I have my perfect tails and my 13 inch board. And let's just see if 13 inches is going to be the right size. And since I'm just cutting one, I'm just going to bring it to my mat. And I'm going to go to 13. And go ahead and do my dovetails. And let's see if 13 is going to be enough. And I'll just put these two, uh, let's put them on the green for right now. This is kind of how I determine uh, how long I think the uh, ribbons need to be. And I think that's going to be a good length because we're going to need some extra oomph in this wreath <laughs> since this 21 inch mesh is so uh, frail. 
So let me pick my ribbons. I've got some cute ones. I've got these with spiders. I have more of that one that I just cut. Um, I have another one that's in the purple and the black. I have do have a couple here that are Halloween from Dollar Tree. Uh, I know I'm going to need to bring a little bit of orange in. So I have some orange. And uh, then I just have a couple of things of green that I've never really used for anything else. Uh, this is a, a sheer ribbon. I don't know that I want to use a sheer ribbon in it because it's already going to be sheer enough. And then here are a couple of signs. Now, I don't know which one I want to use, uh, depending on how much coverage we need. I have these two, so maybe probably use one of these. But I'm going to pause and cut my ribbons, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've gone all the way around the outer row. Now, in all fairness, I think that this would be fine if you had a better 21 inch mesh. Uh, you can see it's really wafer thin um, because this Dollar Tree mesh has no body, but I still think the design, the layout is good if you should happen to come across one of these larger frames. Now, this is the same amount of mesh I would put on, uh, or the same type of design, I would put on a uh, work frame or a, a Dollar Tree frame. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with it rather than go in and add more uh, mesh. You know, I think that if this had been, again, a better quality of the mesh, uh, it would have worked out much better. But I think... When I get through putting on all of these pieces on the inside, uh, it still should work out okay. Uh, I think that these 18 inch frames are very large, so it's gonna end up being about, <laughs> oh, it's about 27 inches wide when I get it on here. Now the ribbons I went with, I did go with this cute little spider, and then I'm using this uh, lime kind of rickrack when I'm using the tinsel mesh. And I'm, again, I made those in ruffles and I'm just adding them to the ties. Again, I do think that the 22 ties is working out really well. Um, I haven't cut off the ties yet in case I thought maybe I might want to add some tubing to it. I uh, wasn't sure, but the sign that I had picked, you know, when I bought this sign from Dollar Tree, I thought to myself, it really did look very big and I wondered how I was going to use it. It's not an expensive sign, but it's a cute sign. But when you look at it, this is really the perfect size wreath for something this large. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these on, uh, and then we'll come back. I did go ahead and make one big bow, and there's definitely going to be room for multiple bows because it is such a large wreath. So maybe another small bow. Um, I might do that. So let me finish putting these ruffles on. Um, a part of me wanted to add another layer of mesh around the center, but I'm just going to go with it because I think, you know, this is going to be an economical, budget-friendly wreath. Um, so I'm just going to keep rolling with it. So I'll be back. All right, guys. Talk about misjudging a book by its cover. Look at how cute this turned out. Um, here, I was going to try to add another layer of mesh. Now, it's it's not super thick, but by putting that better mesh on top of this Dollar Tree mesh, uh, I'm really impressed. So, between the mesh and the ribbon, including the bow, um, I would say I made this for about $20. So, it's really not bad. These two layers of mesh, I mean, just adding the 18 inch uh, ruffles, as long as you have a better quality mesh that you put on top of that Dollar Tree mesh, this absolutely works out fine. So I think what I'm gonna do off camera uh, is use this sign and it's very thin. So I was thinking these little uh, beaded, little punch hole punchers and, and they will, they'll punch right through this. So I think I'll just add like two pipe cleaners in two different places and then attach it right up here. And then my bow, 
I'm going to put on the bottom. And uh, the only thing that I, else that I might do, really, just to keep this budget friendly, uh, I had a couple of little Halloween, you know, pumpkins left from last year. You know, you could put a couple of these on here. Um, I've got some of the little filler balls, but really, uh, it's not going to need much of anything. So I'm guesstimating this is going to be about a cost of about $20 to make it. I don't think it needs another bow. Um, I think the one large bow at the bottom is is great. Um, again, I mean, I'm really impressed. Uh, I wasn't impressed to start with, but this gave it enough volume um, that made my little ruffles work. So uh, if you were to use a, a better quality 21 uh, inch mesh, uh, I think that that would be perfect. You could come up with a very cute design. Uh, I'm not worried about the middle uh, since I know that this side is going to rest, you know, easily. It should be able to attach right to the bars. Um, if not, I may have to add one up here and attach it a little bit higher. But uh, I'll take photos of how I place it in the end, and I think it turned out really cute. Again, it's going to be about 28 inches wide. Uh, it would be expensive to ship it. But if you have local uh, craft fairs that you do, um, I have a booth that I put my uh, things in. Uh, not all of them, but some things. And Halloween usually sells pretty good in my booth. So that's where I'll probably put it. But I hope y'all have enjoyed this. And uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, guys. Thanks again. Bye, everybody.